Hello, and welcome to Free to Fly Budgeting. It's Michelle here, and today we are talking about making a cash calendar. Have you ever thought, do I need a calendar where I plan out my expenses? Yes, yes you do. And can you budget without one? Of course. But if you want it to be easier, you want to have peace of mind, you want to know what's happening every single week with your money, let's make a fast, quick, you know I got ADHD, so I can't be, I'm like a squirrel, I can't be spending too much time. Let's make a simple cash calendar so you know what's going on. Now, what are you going to need? What I did is, you know, I have my binder cheat sheet. You know, I always say the budget binder is the star on the top of the Christmas tree. Well, the calendar is actually either what you would call the tree stand or, you know, the roots of the tree. It's the foundation. This keeps you on the right path. You don't make a wrong turn. You don't, you know, I'm all about efficiency. You do not lose time. You do not have to figure this up but once. Do it once. And a lot of things on the calendar, once you do once, they transfer over every month. So, you need a list of if you auto-draft or if you pay them in person, this is the most important thing that you're going to need for your cash calendar. Second, you're going to need a breakdown of your other wall, your other binders or wallets. So, I've got the one I take with me everywhere. I've got my health challenge and my savings challenge, and i got my tithe and giving because that's all I'm running with right now is four. So, let's first write this one down, okay? Now, the first thing you want to do is write down, let's see, phone, which is 200 and happens on the first. So, I am going, let me get a dark color. I want all my bills to be dark. Phone is going to come out the first. The second is Groundhog Day. And I also have a dentist appointment. Oh, yuck. I wish y'all knew how anxiety-ridden I get over those at 9.30. Yuck. On the third, my son has an ortho appointment, which he probably feels about the same way as I do about my dental appointment at 3.55. Now, this is why you really do need to have a cash calendar. Do you see all these bills, these three bills that come out on the 5th? Let's go to the 5th. That's Saturday. I don't think them bills will be coming out on Saturday. When are they going to come out? Probably this day. So you need to know that. That they can, if, if, if it falls on a Saturday or Sunday, or if Monday's a holiday, your money may come out on Friday, and you need to be ready for that. So I always make sure that I write these down so I'm ready. I'm not, it's not unexpected. I'm not shocked that my account loses so much money at one time and I can plan accordingly. So I am just writing my car and my insurance and my streaming. Because look, see streaming was gonna come out on a Sunday. Well, we know that they're not gonna work on Sunday. So I have to plan that that's probably going to come out here. So all that is going to total up to 1440. And I've got 200 over here. So week one, okay? I'm going to write a one. I'll put week up here. I know that I'm going to get money that will be drafted out of 1640. Okay? Now, when you watch your favorite YouTube budgeters and they always know how much they're going to take out and what they're going to do, you probably wonder, how do they always get it right? How do they always know? Well, I'm sure they're like me. They have it written down what's going on every week. So every week, no matter what, I am going to stuff $400 in my wallet. So I'm going to make my wallet red, okay? So in week one in my wallet binder... I am going to put $400, okay? And that includes my food, gas, the holidays. You know, I like, know I like to shop early for that. My none your envelope, which is none of your business. My health, which is covers co-pays and over-the-counter. And my son does. Oh, and that reminds me. My son has a medical supply order I need to place on the 7th. 
he does need incontinence supplies and some other things. So I want to make sure that I put that on there. And I, you know, my daddy always told me to put a hundred dollars in my wallet. I bumped that up with inflation. I'm putting forty dollars a week in there. So my emergency is gonna be one sixty. So I'm sure my daddy's gonna be real proud of me. So that's four hundred dollars in my wallet, okay? And then in my health binder challenges. You, you might want to go watch my health um, challenge. It's my new, it's my new savings challenges. It's kind of like what happens if your diet and your health had a baby, you know, you would have health and wealth, what would happen? And I've come up with some really fun things like we're doing a no eating out, we're watching our steps on Fitbit, or if you have a pedometer, we're trying to get a certain amount of sleep hours, we're drinking water, so, you know, we and we are rewarding ourselves with that. So, you know how I felt so guilty about spending that $20 at Kato's? No more. If I do it right, then Michelle will have extra money to wear. If I want a shirt at Kato's, I can buy it without guilt. So, I am going to make my health purple because y'all know I love this dark purple erasable pen. Okay, so my health challenges are going to cost me... $56 a week, okay? And that's only if me and my husband do what we're supposed to do. That's the most they can cost me. Now, if we eat out, don't drink our water, don't get our steps, that money won't go to us. You know where it's gonna go? That's right, debt. It'll go right into my rollover debt one. So, just know that that's the most possible that can be spent. And then we're gonna look at my other challenges. Okay, so these are my savings challenges. And so, right now, I am doing a $5,000 challenge that I'm doing with my sister. I'll show you that real quick. And I wanna do $100 a month. This will take way more than, this may take the whole four years that I'm trying to pay off my debt. That's fine. I'm doing $25 a week, okay? So, I, I've got $25, and then I've got my uh, 31 and done, okay? Let me show you that. That is a mini version of the 100 box challenge because, you know, my interest is compounding monthly, daily, probably minutes, probably by the second. I don't know, but I know that it's like that, you know, day one, you put a dollar, day two, you put two dollars and so on. Well, over the course of time, if I do the whole month and don't skip a day, I will end up putting 496 in there, okay? which I love. And then, you know, I'm doing my 22, 122, and I'm gonna up this to doing it every week. Instead of I was just doing two, I'm going to try. You know, this is all about how my money flows. And you know, I do have variable income and I have to wait till the end of the month to see when I put my time in, how much I'm gonna get paid. And I don't really always know that. So what we are doing with this, let me get my little bitty. Out. Okay, so I've got my savings challenges, which I use this as a cheat sheet. So I don't have to refigure this every month. So I know on my 31 and done, week one, I've got to have $28. Week two, I've got to have $77. Week three, I have to have 126. And week four, I have to have 265. Then my other challenges, which is the 2200, I've got to have 22 a week. And then on my 5,000 challenge, y'all know I'm doing $25 a week. Not 28, 25. Okay, so if I add those up, it is going to be, week one will be $75, week two will be $124, week three will be $173, and week four will be $312. So, for my savings challenges, I am going to put $75. Now look, I have figured out week one. 
I need $1,640 that will be drafted out of my account. And then after that, I will need $400 for my wallet. I will need $56 for my um, health challenges and $75 for my savings challenges. Okay, so you can see that added up to 531. Now we're going to go on to week two, which I will know that I have power coming out on the 7th. And so let me get my black pen. I've got power coming out on the for 200 on the 7th. Now, I don't have any other thing coming out that week. Yay! So on week two, my direct draft out of my bank will only have $200 coming out. We know that my wallet is always gonna get $400. And my health challenges are going to get, my health challenge will always get 56. But we know that down here, my savings challenge goes up to 124 because you know when you're in a 100 box or a 31 you know, day box, you know, it goes up as the days get higher. So that is going to be, okay. So week two, I've got to have $580 in cash. Now we're going to move on to week three. And on the 17th, I am going to have water come out. Look at me. I love these erasable pens. I wish everything in life could be erasable if you needed it to. Okay, so I'm having waters 150 and the 21st. Okay, so that's fine. So on week three, all that I'm going to have out of drafted out of my account is again, I'm going to have 150. I'm going to put 400 in my wallet. And my. Um, health challenges are always $56, and that's only if we do it, and then I like can like right down here where I figured my math, and like I'm going to write this at the bottom of my calendar. I'm not going to have to rewrite this ever again, unless I change my challenges, which you know I probably will. So, my savings challenges are uh, 173 so last I add that up. Six twenty-nine, and you can see it's creeping man it creeps up as those days come up but you know that's what makes it have more money okay let me get over here I don't know what I, oh good it'll even erase this off plastic okay so week four I have my internet 105 and I have the stupid bank, which falls on a Sunday, and you know the bank ain't gonna be open on a Sunday, so I've gonna move this up to Friday when it will probably come out. Oh, wait a minute, this is a holiday. So that internet's not gonna come out on that day. No, see, and that's why you need to know that, look, I got to move this back up here to Friday. So, I've got to change my draft. You see why you've got to look at what the holidays, the weekends. So, I'm going to have 255 coming out, drafting out of my bank at that time. So, uh, let's see, when is heat? Of course, heat's going to get the fall on the day it wants to. Heat 200. So, <laughs> week four, and I'm going to combine week four and five because, you know, Look at that. Week four, I'm going to have 203. Draft it out. Let me put a D there so we can stay uniform. And then I am going to have $400 in my wallet as usual. And my health challenge will be $56, which hopefully we are going to uh, win all that. And then my last one is my savings challenge, and that's 312, and y'all know that's a, a big one. So we got six and two is eight, five and one is six, 
and we got 768. So, can you believe how easy was easy that was? Okay, can you believe how easy that was? I mean, and now I know everything that is going to go on in the month. So, let's just go over it so you can see why. Yes, you do need a cash calendar. I know that I'm going to have 1640 drafted out of my account. So, I better have $1,640 in my bank account because it's coming out. I also want to pull out of my bank account cash. I want to pull 400 for my wallet, 56 for my health challenges, and 75 for size savings challenges. So the total cash I want to pull out is 531. That's what you'll see me do in my budgeting channel. And so it's very important for me to know that. I don't want to be figuring this up every week. I already figured it up. I also know that me and my son have dentist appointments this week and there's a holiday so let's look at this week we got groundhog day and look is the groundhog gonna come out i don't know I, it has been sure enough cold up down here in the south i can only imagine how you people up in the north it's got to be super super cold for y'all so you know that's gonna be a day at the dentist okay and then i know that there are no holidays that I know of going on this week. I do know that it's Black History Month. And someone write that up here. Because I always try with my uh, twins to talk about all the holidays. And they like to look up like if it's Pizza Day or National Fish Day. You know, so I know the whole month is Black History Month. Okay, then we go right here and... The all right, anyway, well, let's finish this up. So, I know I've got $200 coming out, drafting out of my account. That's it. That's a really nice week, isn't it? I know I've got to make my medical supply order on the 7th. Don't have any other holidays. Of course, I'm going to stuff $400 in my wallet, $56 for my health challenges, and $124 for my savings challenges. That means I need to have $580 for my second cash stuffing video. Okay, now on number three, week three, ah, oh, it's Valentine's, okay, and y'all know how I put money in my holidays, I've already got them all, a little, the kids a little gift card for their favorite little app store, so I'm gonna give that to them, so, and is there any other holidays? No, do I, we have any doctor's appointments? No, thank goodness, so I got the water, and oh, there is a holiday, the kids are out of school this day. And they don't go back until Tuesday because that's a holiday, President's Day. So, I need to know that. I need to know that I will probably take off work um, this day. And my husband will take off work that day. So, that's important for us to know. So, on week three, 150 and 105 is 255 going to be drafted out of my account. My wallet's going to get $400. My health challenge is going to get $56, and my savings challenge is going to get $173, which totals $629 for that cash stuffing. Now we go on to week four and the two extra days, and I have my bank fee of $3 and my heat of $200. So that's $203 going to be drafted out. Of course, I'm going to put $400 in my wallet. Health challenge, $56. And my savings challenge is $312, yowzer. So on this one, I'm going to be stuffing $768. And so then I will, of course, close the month. And then um, I will apply anything that we have in our savings challenges to our debt. And we will start over fresh for March. So I hope that this can show you, do you need a cash calendar? Yes, 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 you do. Why? Why do you need it? Number one, every week I know what's going to happen. I already know it. I can just look at this. I feel at peace. I can make sure that I have enough for everything I need to do. And if I have extra, you know, then I can throw it at debt. Or if there's something going on or a holiday or something, I know. If you don't do this, if you don't have a cash calendar, you will find yourself spending money on things that you did not plan. And okay, I hope that you can see why you need a cash calendar. Look, I've got it all laid out. I know what I need 
um, for each one of my videos. I know what I need to be in the bank when it's drafted. I know when I need to go to the doctor, order medical supplies. I know all the holidays. I mean, it's like I'm a magician. I know it all. So that's how you feel. You feel peaceful. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this for, on my phone. So I can always have it with me on my phone. I'm also going to lay this in a copier and I will shrink the size. You can find the button that says reduce so, uh, reduce or enlarge. If you reduce this down to about probably about 25%, it will fit into your budget binder. And then you can have that with you if you need it. And I always think it's one month. I actually wrote it on one of those little, and that was redundant. If I've written it here, I don't want to write it again. I can take a picture. I can shrink it down. And then I will make a copy of this full size to put on our command center bulletin board for our family. So we just know what all is going on. So I hope you understand and like. Um, so I hope you can see there's definite value in having a cash calendar. It is your directions for where your money and your month is going to go. I thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you will like, subscribe, and comment. And if you do your budget calendar a different way or have some, you know, tips, love to hear them. If you've never done one before, I hope this helps you get started because I'm telling you it's a life changer for me. You know, I love efficiency. It is so efficient. So I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.